Big crowd inside Gill Coliseum at Oregon State in Corvallis. The Pac-10 Gymnastics Championships on FSN. Jim Watson and Judy Corwin, and these are the all-around leaders thus far. Remember, we're just three rotations in. Kate Richardson, of course, one of the best in two countries. She's a Canadian for UCLA. In fact, three Bruins in the top four. Jordan Schweiker just came up with a huge ball. More on that in a minute. Ashley Kelly is second in the country in the all-around, so no surprise to see her up there as well. Christina Comforte from UCLA, 19.675. And Kelly McDonald, Karen Worm, and Lauren Powell. Well, I mentioned Jordan Schweikert's vault just moments ago. We showed it to you. Our last segment, a 9.925. Not a lot wrong with this effort. Jordan does a Yurchenko full, beautiful vault. She nails the land in great body positions. Very excited on the UCLA bench. And UCLA leading the team scores. And again, this is after three rotations. And there are some buys worked in there. Thus the gap down between Washington and Stanford. UCLA with a commanding lead. Remember, UCLA is one of the premier programs, if not the elite program in the country. Although the Bruins came into this Pac-10 championships ranked just 11. Over to the bars and Stanford's Nicole Arata. Stanford very good as a team on the bars. They're ranked 10th in the country, but they're third in the nation on the bars. And they're number one in the Pac-10 on the bars. Nicole has great handstand position. That was her release move. It's called a Takachev, and she was, out, she was over the bar, could not hang on to her grip. So that'll be a 5'10 fall, a costly beginning for Nicole and the Stanford Cardinal. And now here's the hard part. We have to regroup and pick up. The gymnast has 30 seconds to get back on the bars. Her pack salto. Nice toe up, nice handstand positions. Now she's going to get set for that dismount. It's a double back in the tuck position. Well, you really got to salute Nicole Arata for pulling it back together. I thought she was pretty solid on the end of that. Absolutely. As the first person for bars on her team, you want her to hit. Oregon State on the vault in this rotation. And this is Yuki Lamb from Knoxville. Yuki back from some injury problems this year. She dislocated her elbow. She's just working herself back into the lineup for Oregon State. Yurchenko, front. Does it well. She has good flight. She had a hop on the landing that'll cost her a 10. Back to the beam and Cassandra Giacino from Arizona State who had a disappointing vault trying to put that out of her mind. You can see she's done well on the beam in the past. A 9.875 is her season best. And she just fell off on what is a risky mound. It's a front in the pike position. One of the reasons why not too many gymnasts do that mound is it's so easy to fall. Arizona State not having a good meet so far. They had bad set on vault. Couple falls on the uneven bars. Trying to get back into this competition on balance beam. And it's funny, Judy, the same way good efforts, good scores are infectious among a team, it goes the other way as well. The teeter-totter swings both ways. Well, you almost don't want your athletes to watch each other so that one of them can pick it back up and get back into the rhythm. Cassandra's a very strong, powerful athlete. Working the beam a little bit cautiously. And at this point, caution is okay. Nice swing down. It's not a difficult element, but it adds a little flair to the routine. You can see her getting back into the rhythm. Thinking hard. Here comes the dismount. Gainer off the end of the beam. That's a difficult skill. We'll give her some bonus points, and she finished strong despite the fact that she fell on her mouth. Uh, she was measuring her steps. Uh, you heard that big cheer. This was moments ago. Oregon State's Jamie lands on the vault. Look at that here, Chico full. She nailed it. Perfect landing. Great body position in the air.
Tasha Smith, Oregon State, already had a big floor with a 995 now on the vault. Another great Yurchenko full vault from Oregon State athlete. She's sky high in the air. She's a little bit crooked. The judges may deduct something for that, but it was full of power. She is having a big night, and she is in control in the all-around as well right now. To the bars in Stanford's Liz Tracas, number one in the nation on this event. Three perfect tens at UCLA against Fullerton and against Arizona. Three straight meets with a ten. Look how high she was in that release move. She is dynamite on this event. She makes it look so easy, but she is so strong. Sets up for her dismount, a double layout. That was a perfect routine. Well, we'll see. It only had to be a 9-9 to take the lead. 9-8-7-5, Tabitha Yim of Stanford was our high mark coming in. Now you know why she is number one in the nation. A season average of 9-9-3. That's an average. Here is Liz's dismount. It's a double layout. Oh, there's a hop on the landing. That is the only error I saw in that routine. So not quite perfect, but pretty close. We go to the floor and pick up Karen Worm, Arizona. They're 13th in the nation as a team on the floor. And she has four floor championships this season. That was a triple fold. No other athlete is doing that in this competition. Karen Worm has been lighting up her last four scores in competition on the floor. Three at 9.875 and one at 9.9. Those are big numbers. Good middle tumbling line. Well, now's the time to have some fun. All the big tumbling tricks are out of the way. Nice set of jumps. She'll finish with her final tumbling pass. Another two and a half twist, which she does very well. That's a strong finish. Her last four performances, 9, 8, 7, 5, and above, and that one's going to be right in there. Back to the beam in Arizona State's Nicole Harris. Fourth highest beam in the Pac-10 this year. She is 18th in the nation. Nicole very strong on the balance beam. She works it aggressively. There's her flight series. Flip-flop to layout, perfectly done. Nice one and a half turn. Her balance was Perfect. Arizona State had some trouble on the vault, but they're making it up on the beam moments ago. We showed you April Boone. Her number is in at a 9.85. That is good for first place. Yes. Now her teammate Nicole Harris. That is front aerial, which she's stuck. So far, so good. Double layout for her final dismount. Trying to pull her team back into this event. Here's that dismount. She does a round off to a layout with two twists before the landing. 